Rugby's a great part of Britain, and it's a great part of the British week here today. Duncan, you're out from Scotland, Bonnie Scotland, and you're playing some rugby, I think, and it's all for a good cause. Yeah, we're here representing the Crusaders Rugby, which is a, a unique bunch of guys who uh, we try and champion, champion uh, prostate and testicular cancer in men. Most guys won't go to the hospital, they won't go to the doctors when they find symptoms, they wait, they wait, and by that time it's too late. So we've decided to try and do something different. We're a charity, not about money, but about getting guys to go to the doctors, to go to the hospital, to get themselves checked out. And you think that like, uh, the association would be Butch Rugby, and guys not being butch enough to go in and get themselves checked. Well, we've decided on a new, a new tagline. We used to say, play rugby, tackle cancer, which everybody thought, oh, that's quite good. But we've now decided to change that to fronting up, okay? Getting men to front up to the responsibility to themselves, to their families, you know, to, to the world almost, you know, to, you know, front up to cancer. So you've been travelling around all, everywhere doing this? Well, we're just back from Dubai. We take different teams to different locations. So, for instance, a different team that's come to Bahrain that was in Dubai a couple of months ago for the Sevens. We have other teams that play back in Scotland. We've played uh, in Leicester. We've played down south in St Albans. So it's different. We're trying to get as many guys to play rugby as possible and give off the message of fronting up. Measurable response so far? Oh, it's been fantastic. We've never had a, a piece of negative press yet about it. Everybody thinks it's fantastic, and you know that's what we're trying to aim for. I do. What, what about Bahrain? You've been to Bahrain before? I've been out to Bahrain about seven times now. Uh, through first, first came out uh, with the, the international weekend, which is on about May, and then through that I was asked to play for the Bahrain Warblers over in uh, over in Dubai. So I managed to get three very successful trips with the Bahrain Warblers. I uh, have a lot of friends out here, uh, and so when Mediona said, uh, let's get a team out here, we just jumped at the chance. Have you had a good time? We've had a fantastic chance, yeah, we've had a fantastic time, and we've also raised you know, some, some money as well. And just for the sake of the money, we're not about giving thousands of pounds to charity. We're about buying PSA testing machines, which cost about £4,000. There's now these things called medical detection dogs. Now, medical detection dogs are dogs that sniff urine of men to detect the early stages of prostate cancer. Now, these dogs cost £5,000 to buy. So, this is where our funding goes. We get the money and we buy another dog to detect prostate cancer. It's the most fantastic opportunity, you know, to get involved Excellent. with. Excellent. Does it surprise you? That's the serious side. Does, does it surprise you to see a London bus in Bahrain? <laughs> well, not really, considering it's British week, you know, and, I've, and I have been out here, as I say, a few times now, uh, and I know there's a massive expat community out here. Uh, so, yeah, London bus. I was just looking for Cliff Richard uh, singing Summer Holiday. That's about it, really. <laughs> That's the end of British week. <laughs> <laughs>